good morning from Bar Beach in Newcastle which is just again another stunning beach first of all look at this going all the way down we've even seen dolphins this morning as well so it's pretty pretty gorgeous but this is one of two main beaches the other one is Nobby Beach which is on the other side over there by the lighthouse which is where we ended the video last night the area is known for its coal. It is the world's biggest exporter of coal. Last year, at the end of 2017, it shipped over 159 million tons of coal. This place was actually originally discovered and used as a and described as a hellhole by the convicts because it was the worst of the worst convicts who would come here. And where we are right now is a place called Strzyczki. I don't have a clue how to say it. Lookout. He's a Polish guy and he was a geologist and he actually analyzed the coal here back in the day. Look at that. Looking out onto open ocean. It is stunning. All the way down. The beach we just came from is just over there. When you come from the lookout just there, you come on this gorgeous memorial walk dedicated to the soldiers from the First World War. And on all of these uh, cutouts here are actually the names of the different soldiers. You can see in the distance, that's the city there. It's only small. And then over there you have the coaling industry over there, I guess, all the smoke and that. And then the walkway goes down these steps right here, follow it down, down to the road, and you just follow it back down to where we were. Definitely recommend you come and see it. So now we're going to carry on to the city and check out the main road there. We are in Newcastle city centre, the main road being Hunter Road, Hunter Street, which is basically just one long road which goes from there down there as you can see it's basically just full of these shops and nice little trendy cafes a few little food stores like there drinks and it's just really cool nice banks it's very chilled out very relaxed Hi. place we're now going to go check out a place right on the seafront there that building that is known and excuse my language here but as the giant penis behind me here if you see all the roadworks going all the way down and down that way they're actually building a tram system from the newcastle train station to the city of town trying to make it more efficient and faster to get around which is actually quite good so it turns out penis tower actually <laughs> i can't believe it's called that it's actually called the queen's wharf tower and it was opened may 7th which is my birthday 1988 by queen elizabeth ii standing on my own you know how it's gonna turn out so we're actually at the top now. It's a little bit run down, I'm not gonna lie. It's got like all drawing and graffiti and rubbish. That is the carry on of Hunter Street, carrying on down there. And this is the Christ Cathedral up there, one of the oldest buildings in Newcastle. In 1989, there was a massive 5.4 magnitude earthquake which was actually quite destructive here. It destroyed quite a few buildings. Uh, they have since rebuilt and expanded the city since then. So they've actually expanded it more that way as well. So just so you can see, as a point of reference, Hunter Street is this long street that goes through here and then it connects onto the main road and goes that way. This is the center of the CBD, what you see. Now, there was a massive, massive plan of reinvesting money into this place as soon as it's seen a bit of a boom, actually. This building behind me right now has got all the steel frames up holding the original front of the building in place. But behind it, they've knocked it all down and they're completely redoing it. There are tons of buildings like this around the whole area that is happening to this and it's happening section by section. I was just speaking to a local and I was just told roughly they're putting about one and a half billion Australian dollars into the whole area stretching from the east side down to the west side so we have pretty much done a u-turn a walk around for the whole little city area but it is very cool so now we're going to a next bit known as little Italy is where the earthquake hit Newcastle worst we are now in Beaumont, also known as Newcastle's version of Little Italy. It's a cool little area actually, it's just like again, Beaumont Street is just a one street. It's got your bars, shops going on down there, houses down there. I actually really like this area. Yeah. Beaumont Street is one of Newcastle's most renowned eat streets. Very important to know. 10am you can have a coffee, light lunch. And at 8 o'clock, 
you get some yum, yummy food and then 10 o'clock you go to the bars oh, yeah. and apparently the coffee here as it says itself rivals Melbourne's coffee well Melbourne they say themselves as the coffee capital of well, Australia and they've got a bit of competition here so uh, let you know so we asked a local from here where's the best place to go and they said a place called the village Newcastle I've gone for a coffee I've never heard of it's called an Afrigato and it's got ice cream in it a bit of chocolate some other stuff sort of like a dessert coffee so you've got your coffee you tip it over the ice cream then you pick up the chocolate and you sprinkle it on that's strong wow very good though very good like it you mix the ice cream with the coffee here it gives you this lovely little texture right here that is really good that is really good i heavily recommend that fantastic coffee the village there that is just i think that's actually the best coffee i've had in australia and i'm not gonna lie so i completely recommend that and the staff there are just really lovely at the village so they're following now i do believe so if you're watching this hello and thank you so much come and check out this suburb little italy it's really lovely just really chilled out a lot going on where i'm standing where chloe's sitting right now right there is called the obelisk this is actually one of the city's oldest navigational markers as it can be seen pretty much all around again it's very beautiful i love this city it is so cool i was playing i worked my better than hesitate no never meant to say i took it back home past the way place we're going to now is a swimming pool called Boogie Hole. It was actually made by convicts for the governor back in the 1800s I do believe and they actually chiseled it out of the rock for him to use for his own private pool. There's actually Boogie Hole behind me down here you can see it. It's normally a lot more turquoise as well. Do be aware you can fully swim here. You get all of this but this is the first time I've seen this. Marine stingers which basically means a jellyfish. Oh, but look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. We've actually just carried on walking just a little bit beyond the, the bay over there. And there's a little bit where you can come, you can walk around it. Such a stunning place. There's fishermen over there behind me. You can see the waves again, beautiful. I am blown away by this place. I, I don't say that often, but as a city, I am blown away by it. It's a little hidden gem, it seriously is. Another main place that we haven't had a lot of time to go to today because we try to show you so much is called Fort Scratchley. The only day it's closed is Tuesday and the last admittance is quarter to four. But basically it's an old fort from the 1800s and it was built in the 1880s to protect the port from potential threats. And it was actually decommissioned in 1972. So they actually have tunnels in here as well, like built into the hill. So what this actually reminded me of Point Nepean. So it's actually locked now, but you take guided tours down. But just just to show you. For you guys watching this, come and see it. Just another awesome place to come and check out. We're standing at the top of the fort now, pretty much. You can see the big gun there, and you can see the big gun there, and you can see the view that it had looking over the open ocean, pretty much all the way around. There's actually a boat right there that has come in into the port. But this is why it was so important to defend it. There's so much to see here, I can't fit it all in because there is a lot of stuff going on here and it's not that well known unless you're a local more or anything. Definitely do some research yourself. We've let the rain sort of pass. It hasn't rained too badly, just a little bit and it has got a lot windier and colder. But we're gonna show you Nobby's Beach, which is basically this. You can walk all the way around there to the lighthouse and around the corner to the actual wharf bit down there. This cloud right here, all of that, you can see behind me, is moving all the way over Newcastle. If you can see now, the main cloud has gone that way. Across there, you can see it. But there is lightning all the way down there as well. Hey, we're in the storm now! <laughs> wow, wow, wow! There's the entry to the ocean anyway! Okay, oh wow. It is a proper tropical storm. Listen to that. We have just run back all the way from where you see that light. That is the pier. That's where we were, drenched, uh, literally soaked. But it was fun and it was an experience. There's definitely a place to come and check out, but it is my favorite city. It's massively underrated. I absolutely love it here. But it's a little hidden gem of a city. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.